Good evening and welcome to Poland Daily. I'm Nicholas Richardson and this is the news. A batch of 870,000 doses of the Pfizer coronavirus vaccine arrived in Poland on Monday. In April, the government expects to receive and distribute between 5.5 and, and 7 million doses. According to the plan, Poles are to receive 20 million injections by the end of June. Meanwhile, the epidemic continues. In the past day, the Ministry of Health recorded 9,902 new cases and 64 deaths. 32,656 people are in hospital, 3,269 of whom are on ventilators. 17,000 people are currently under quarantine. Over 2,440,000 people have contracted the coronavirus since the beginning of the pandemic. The Ministry of Health has distributed over 6,600,000 vaccinations. Approximately 4.5 million have received the first dose and over 2 million people have now received two doses. Russian military movements near its shared border with Ukraine pose no threat to Ukraine or anyone else and Russian Federation troops may move around the country as they see fit. So said Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov on Monday. Meanwhile, international observers are alarmed by thousands of Russian military personnel assembling on the northern and eastern borders of the country. Online researchers have identified troops being transferred to Ukraine's borders from western and central Russia, including artillery from a far away as Siberia. The military buildup has raised fears of a possible Russian offensive that could push beyond the areas of eastern Ukraine currently under Kremlin control and lead to a dramatic escalation of the simmering seven-year conflict between the two countries. Ukraine's western partners have responded to the threat by voicing their support for Ukrainian sovereignty and calling on Russia to end its aggressive actions. As tensions mounted late last week, United States President Joe Biden made his long-awaited first call to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and affirmed the United States' unwavering support for Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity in the face of Russia's continuing aggression in the Donbass and Crimea. While some observers believe the Kremlin may be engaged in strategic posturing in order to intimidate Zelensky and test the resolve of the new Biden administration, others say that the build-up points to the possibility of a looming Russian offensive. Easter Monday is celebrated in Poland and it is a public holiday. There are many countries that stick to the deeply rooted tradition that treated the entire week following Easter as a holiday. While there are no special religious celebrations, Poles use this day to meet their extended families or simply spend time with nature. This year, however, the coronavirus restrictions limit the second option. Catholics observe the second day of Easter in Poland as a public holiday. At the Vatican, Pope Francis said the Marian prayer, Regina Celi, in the Papal Library. In his reflection before the prayer, he encouraged believers to keep on seeking Christ. The angel's words teach us a valuable lesson. Let us never give up in search of the risen Christ, who gives life abundantly to those who encounter him. Finding Christ gives the women of the gospel peace in their hearts. After their initial distress, they find their master alive and experience great joy. During the Easter season, I wish everyone to experience the same spiritual experience by accepting into their hearts and families the joyful proclamation of Easter. Christ is risen, death no longer has power over him. The good news for Easter is that Jesus is alive and knocks on my heart. The Holy Father reminded us today that the resurrection of the Lord is associated with an act of courage, an act of proclaiming the gospel. Easter Monday follows Easter Sunday in the Easter octave lasting from the Sunday of the Lord's resurrection. In order to emphasize the importance of the Easter celebrations, the church extends them for the next eight days. Today, the church celebrates Mass according to the Sunday order. In connection with the octave, Catholics do not have to fast this Friday. For eight consecutive days, that is from Resurrection Sunday to Divine Mercy Sunday, the church relives the joy of Resurrection Sunday. This is an excellent opportunity to renew your baptism. Realize what a great gift this is and experience it anew. Become more involved in the community of the church. During the Easter period, in churches, the cross at the altar is decorated with a red stole. In a visible place, near the chair, is placed a figure of the risen Christ. Due to the large number of coronavirus infections, this year's Easter, as last year's, had to be spent in the face of restrictions. We asked the faithful from one Warsaw parish whether the pandemic had taken its toll during these holidays. This year is much better than last year. The weather is beautiful and the pandemic did not hit us so much. We did not kiss our parents, but kept a safe distance. Very nice. My sons and we go to church with my son and grandson. Nice, as God wants it to be. The East Octave will end next Sunday, which is called Divine Mercy Sunday in the Universal Church. Until then, the words of dismissal in the church will be accompanied by the words, Alleluia. 
Today in Poland we celebrate a holiday known as Smingus Dingus, also known as Wet Monday. Initially Smingus and Dingus were separate holidays. Smingus mainly consisted of symbolically striking willow or palm trees on one's legs and pouring cold water over oneself, and Dingus was about visiting friends and people at random. The first mentions of the tradition of Smingus Dingus in Poland come from the 15th century. The genesis of folk customs celebrated on Easter Monday is related to the practices of the Slavs who worship joy after the end of winter and the awakening of spring. The Slavs believed that dousing with water was supposed to promote fertility, which is why mainly unmarried maidens were doused. Nowadays in Poland, Smingus Dingus is treated as a folk game. Contrary to the original traditions, water is poured over everyone without exception. At the moment, Smingus Dingus is not visible in the streets at all. And in our time, Smingus Dingus relied on the fact that the young people poured buckets of water over each other. That was the difference. <laughs> in my time, unfortunately, boys were running around with buckets and soaking people and they weren't necessarily their friends. Now, in my opinion, it is much calmer. Today, nothing is happening with Smingus Dingus. In our time, buckets of water were poured over them, but now nothing happened. We just squirted a little water over our small grandchildren, and that's all. In the 16th century, the Polish tradition was widely adopted by the Hungarians. To this day, it is the practice to pour water on women in keeping with the original tradition. Mexicans are also drenched with water, not on Monday, but on Holy Saturday. Far Eastern communities practice Song Karan, which literally means pouring water festival. This is how the end of the calendar year is celebrated in Thailand. We have received sad news about the death of singer Krzysztof Krawczyk. The day before yesterday, he left hospital where he became infected with the COVID-19 virus. Unfortunately, the Polish music scene has lost one of its greatest personalities. Krzysztof Krawczyk performed on the national stage from the 1960s as a member of the band Troubadourzy, or The Troubadours, and later as a soloist he recorded dozens, if not hundreds, of pop music hits, which are an element of Polish culture. In 1981, Krawczyk moved to the United States to perform and to record an album in Indianapolis for TRC Records. The 1982 LP, From a Different Place, was distributed nationally. The single, Solidarity, received heavy airplay in several cities, especially Chicago. While in the United States, Kravdik's wife Eva helped him overcome addictions to alcohol and drugs. In the late 1990s, Kravdik changed his image from a discotheque playboy to a mature middle-aged artist who propagated family values. In this way, he successfully came back on stage with hits like Jestem Sobą, I Am Myself, Fiari Godny, the Credible, or Boyeste because you are. In 2000, Christoph Kravchik performed for Pope John Paul II in St. Peter's Square in Vatican City. At the end of his life, Kravchik has said that he lived without God for 20 years, but was now a devout believer. He will be missed. That's the news. Thank you for watching. Stay with us for the weather, Poland Daily Business, and more programs. But from me, it's have a good night and a better tomorrow.